Alan Turing did have a reputation as being a little bit eccentric. Uh, he was known as the professor at Bletchley Park. And he's 28 at the time, but he's, apparently he has this professorial air about him. Uh, there are stories of him uh, riding uh, his bike into Bletchley Park while wearing his gas mask to protect him from hay fever. And we, you can imagine with all the tubes coming out of his gas mask, it looks like an alien just cycling into work. Uh, there are other stories of him. He would chain his uh, coffee mug to the radiator so no one would steal his coffee mug. Uh, which is usually told as a story of how eccentric he was. Seems perfectly fine to me. Seems like a good idea. I don't see, don't see any problem with that whatsoever. Uh, there are other stories of him. He, he bought two bars of silver uh, and he, he buried them. Uh, he actually buried one in the woods and he buried another bar in a stream, and he wrote the location of these bars of silver in code, which he hid under a bridge. When he came to find them, couldn't find them. Yeah, never saw them again, couldn't find them. Other stories, uh, this is something that a lot of people don't know. Uh, Alan Turing was actually a very talented long distance runner. He would actually run for meetings from Bletchley Park to London, which is 60 miles. It's unbelievable, yeah. He, and I think it shows something about Alan Turing as well. It's kind of a single-minded thing. I guess it gives him time to think. It, his marathon time was only 11 minutes short of the world record at that time. This is not the result of a casual hobby. Uh, and, uh, and he was seriously considered for the 1948 Olympics. Uh, here's another story which involves Winston Churchill as well. This is the story of action this day. Uh, you see, in 1941, the code breakers at Bletchley Park were really suffering, again from lack of resources and lack of staff. So Alan Turing, totally ignoring protocol, going over the heads of all his bosses, wrote a letter directly to Winston Churchill, complaining about the lack of resources at Bletchley Park. To his credit, Winston Churchill then writes to his staff saying, action this day. Give these guys everything they want, top priority. And I think that does show something about Winston Churchill as well. He personally supported these code breakers' effort. He was very interested in what they were doing as well. 